Okay, one, two, three. Hello everyone, another fantastic magical morning and today we're gonna play another standard event trying to farm some packs and gems. And we do get seven wins, it's on day two, not day one, but hey, seven wins playing ramp and there's some really really interesting cards so with that being said let's smash an entire event and go to the deck list all right so this is the deck we're gonna play today and we got some new cards here that we can put in a nice little pile uh first of all we have the long goodbye which is a spell i really 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 like it's a two man instant this spell can't be countered destroy target creature or planeswalker with mana value three or less I think that's really good. You can say goodbye to Rafine, you can say goodbye to Liliana, and also, you know, uh, the djinn from Mono Blue can essentially go fuck itself. So yeah, really nice. This is the most fun spell, uh, Urgent Necrospecy. Necro Necrospecy. I played it in Standard Ranked uh, yesterday, which is gonna be a video later today or tomorrow, I don't know. But it's fantastic. It's like uh, Casualties of War, but a different version. Four mana instant. As additional cost to cast a spell, collect evidence X, where X is the total mana value of permanence the spell targets. Destroy up to one target artifact, a target creature, enchantment, and one planeswalker. I think this is insanely good. It's not hard to get, you know, a couple of mana costs in the graveyard, so yeah, I like this a lot. And the final new card is going to be the Outrageous Robbery, which is a uh, two black mana and X. Target opponent exiles the top X cards of their library face down. You may look at the and play those cards for as long as they remain exiled. If you cast a spell this way, you may spend mana as though it was any mana of any type. So yes, the one thing we cannot handle in this deck is probably going to be Control or Jace or another Atraxa deck, right? But against these, A, Urgent Necrospy is really good against a uh, Domain Ramp uh, adversary, because we can essentially kill their Ley Lines, we can kill their Atraxa. Yeah, 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 it's really, really good. I'll treat this robbery though, because we are ramping up into 7 mana. We can just mill them out, essentially. I mean, I only like have one copy because I would only want to draw one copy maximum each game. But yeah, this is, uh, I think this could really, really just mess with... <laughs> I mean, magic going against control and you take their, uh, their Jays. It's just really, really fun, so that's another card. The other new cards we have are going to be the new lands, and I was not a huge fan of it initially, but I like them a lot. If you only have two lands in your hand and you have a, uh, a survey land, it is actually not that bad. I play 26 lands, that's my usual standard land count for um, my midrange decks, and by using these, if, usually if you only have two lands, you don't keep the hand, right? But with one of the uh, survey lands, I feel actually comfortable playing keep a two land hand, so yeah. That is uh, essentially it, and we do get seven wins, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay, let's go. Alright, let's get started. As always, if you have any questions about the deck or the gameplay, please don't hesitate to ask me in the comments below. You know I love to hear from you, and it helps the video out. And if you enjoy my content, please like the video, it does help the algorithm on YouTube quite a bit. And yeah, let's start the first game. Okay, we to go first. Thank you. Thank you so much, MTG Arena Gods. You are the best. And the hand is not too bad. We do not have all... We don't have all the basic land types for Leyline to get onto to one. But, oh, ho, ho. hello, my old friend. Phoenix Shakes is not the best one drop they have, so it's pretty good. I say we just hold... Hmm. Actually, I think it's better to do this. We can actually start ramping into Stomper. I don't think... Being on the play against Mono Red is so different from playing on the draw. Even if they curve out, I don't really feel threatened, uh, given the hand I have. So I think we're actually going to go here and uh, fetch a blue mana with uh, to Stomper. And uh, yeah, have and then Invasion to Zendikar the following turn. And the opponent will not be able to get past it. Uh, so let's get the blue mana, that's the one we're missing. So Leyline Binding becomes, you know, cheap. <laughs> God, I love the art of the new lands. Thank God. We didn't get any land art with the uh, Ixalan besides Jurassic 1. Uh, what's it called? The uh, Jurassic Park World lands, which was not that cool. Either way, yeah, the opponent here has curved out perfectly. One, two, three. And uh, yeah, I don't feel threatened at all. We're going to play our Invasion Zendikar here. We're going to activate our Stomper. And we're going to have Leyline Binding ready. So we just should get we're just gonna get the cards to actually be able to kick the Archangel of Wrath. And yeah, that is essentially it, I think. Night and day playing on the draw and on the even though if we're on the draw against Monred, I don't think we would have we would have played differently, but I don't think we would have lost. <laughs> we're doing pretty well here. 
So what do you have? What's your last thing? I mean, these two beasts are just... <laughs> it's just a wall that the opponent can't get past. Okay, so he's gonna try to fly over me and deal five damage or six if he pumps the Godric. Let's see. Let's see if he has a monstrous rage here. No, he doesn't. So in response to that, let's just take it. And then we're gonna play out our Archangel of Wrath and we just shoot the Phoenix Chick and the adversary. And then the opponent can start crying. And we have two removals in our hand and he doesn't have any creatures that can deal with the Stomper or with the uh, Awakened Skyclave. So let's just shoot you and you. Boom. All right. You can block if you want. All right, so that's a good first game. Let's keep on going. Okay, we get to go first again. It is my birthday, thank God. And this hand is a little bit slow, but honestly, herd migration into Invasion of Zendikar is not bad. So we can actually scry here to find something we want. I would like that very much. Thank you very much. I mean, not scry, sorry, surveil. The uh, surveil lands are so cool. Broker's hideout, okay. That's a fetch land I haven't seen in a while. Okay, we just keep on going. I love it. Yeah, yeah. There's another angel that was released that I also want to try out, but this is the deck like have too many cards. <laughs> I have too many things in this deck. I wish I I I, I wish um, MTG Arena was like the minimum cards would be 65 or 64. So four more cards I would like to add to the deck, but we couldn't. It's really really fun though. Okay, Angel. So we actually find the one person who played something. He's playing something <laughs> specific, something new maybe. Either way, let's put uh, our Angel out. So maybe that's why the MTG Arena put us together. We're both playing Angels. So yeah, that being said, I think Blue is fine. So we work on the Attraction Mana. Then we just Invasion, Stomper is active. I mean, maybe the, like, it's interesting because when we played yesterday, it was evident to me that, at least in my with my tinfoil hat on, that uh, Helix and uh, Sunfall were like choosing not to draw. And that's how I felt also in Golgari and Sultai that Topier Stomper Invasion Sandigar was never drawn into your hand. But hey, this two day, two games in a row, with, uh, it feels really good when the deck works out. Feels good. Conspiracy Theory for Life. <laughs> Inspiring over here. Get out of here. Gotta enjoy the... Gotta, you have to enjoy the early games in a standard event. Sometimes you meet the weirdest people. Can I click, please? Hello? You do black. And he's probably going to block. It's fine. One eternity later. My god, you're slow, mate. Come on, dude. <laughs> Just sacrifice your angel to my dinosaur. Now, okay. My poor dino. I have no idea what he's playing. At least he's not, he's, he has all the colors. 100% he, he has Atraxa in his hand. Or in his deck. But we also have Atraxa and... Uh, well, he couldn't counter it even if he wanted to. Uh, we could also go into Herd Migration. But, I mean... When I play against Domain, it's always, it feels over when they play Atraxa. I mean, against Herd Migration I can do stuff, but... Atraxa can't do anything. Hey, Atraxa's Robbery is pretty sweet. Uh, well, take the Archangel, obviously, and we take the Herd Migration. And play Land Out, and we have to discard, I guess. <laughs> Man, I like all these cards. How could I possibly throw one away? So pick your... This is Sophie's Choice on steroids. Uh, I guess the Herd Migration, honestly. <laughs> That's funny, because I want to play the Outrageous Robbery. I mean, I think it would be interesting to try it out. If all the other cards don't work, of course. So, Dessa to 2110. Show me what you got. A few moments later. I have no patience for this. Oh, Sarah Paragon. Cool. Yeah, maybe we should have dealt with the Giada. He gets to gain some life here, which is fan. But he's not dealing with the Traxa, which is kind of interesting. Okay. Well, drawing another Archangel of Wrath kind of signals we should play it, shouldn't we? We could Virtue. We can actually play Herd Migration. Yeah, let's just get you out. And yeah, what is he gonna do? We can play you out, take the Sarah Paragon attack. He's gonna chump or take 7 damage. Either way, it's pretty good for us. 
So we charge. We obviously ignore the invasion. Ah, that feels good. Whenever you're ready, Dessa 2010, 2110. Oh wow, Sigarda Font of Blessings. He really went into the rabbit hole of uh, legendaries uh, with angels. He's just missing the best angel. So can we finish him off here? And I do think we can. We use Leyline, we take the Sigarda Font of Blessing, and then we play out Archangel of Wrath and Virtue. We should have enough mana. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have exact mana for that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah. No, I'm not doing this wrong. We take that, we play Archangel of Wrath, and we shoot, we shoot one into his weird angel. I've never seen that one before. And then we use Virtue to do the final three damage, or minus three, minus three. Pichu! Pichu! And Virtue. We'll try the Outrager. Outrageous robbery some other time. For now, let's just smash him in the fast. It's pretty easy. Pretty easy. Alright, the hand is a bit sketchy, but we do have the surveil land, so this is otherwise I would not keep this hand. But surveil lands are actually make this possible. And look at that, we get the land, so. Yeah, I mean I played 27 lands or 26 lands, so if I this that does help. Let's play at the forest and use the herd migration to fetch a land. And uh, yes, we do that. Invasion into Archangel. Mono black is not too difficult. They don't play a lot of I mean they're not difficult in general. Underdog, sure. You know what you love? You love a Sunfall. Let's go ahead and get you out. And it doesn't really matter what we pick here, but I think we go with planes, honestly. Uh, so get you out, and we just pass this turn. You get this one turn upon where I don't do anything, and then it's over. What do you have? Play like a Trespasser. Surprise, motherfucker! That's not good. That's a horrible. That actually. This Planeswalker solos us a little bit. We're gonna have to- thank god we have a lot of Archangels. I don't think we need three though, if I'm honest. I'm gonna throw away you out. I wanna keep a Sunfall in case he plays a shoulder next turn. Alright. So, <laughs> another Sunfall, that's funny. Uh, so let's go ahead and invasion to Zendikar and get the stuff so we can uh, kick the Archangel of Wrath twice. As we need black, obviously. Uh, we have red already, so we can get another white mana. Let's get the Atraxa mana. Okay, do you have your Shelly on curve? I yacht, okay, this is a weird mono black player. From here, we won't be able to finish off Liliana. So I think we actually used Archangel to shoot the invasion of Zendikar, and uh, this way we, we drop us on full here when we are allowed, when the opponent has decided what he wants to discard. You. Uh, we Archangel of Wrath, we flip the invasion, and we attack Liliana with it, and then we can kill Liliana the following turn. I don't think he's gonna chump with the Ayara. I mean, obviously, I don't know what Ayara does. I'm not gonna read it. I mean, but you're not playing it unless you're planning on actually uh, using it for something. So he's probably not gonna block. Or maybe yes. Who knows? Maybe it's just fodder. And I think we're gonna keep in case he wants to um, um, discard, try to ultimate Liliana. Uh, we are going to keep uh, the planes here. Just in case, because I don't want to toss another Archangel is necessary, and some fall again can deal with his uh, Shelly that we know he has somewhere in his deck. Good. And we attack. God bless it. <laughs> the fact that this has haste is nutty. Alrighty. Uh, we'll just end the turn here. So, I, I mean, actually, since he did. Chump, there's a chance he might just use Liliana to make me sacrifice a creature and then guess removal, which if he doesn't, that would be very surprising from a mono black player's perspective. Sacrifice, we can get rid of the you. In case it doesn't have removal, we can fly over and kill it. But yeah, that's sad. Well, we're at 18 life, so I mean, he hasn't really been able to. Uh, deal with me properly. So let's kick this because we want this out anyway. And we could use Long Goodbye obviously to get rid of Liliana because he hits Planeswalker because this spell is that chat. But 
but let's just let's just shoot Liliana here while we can. And, uh, it looks like there's a stick, so we might have another grasp or go for the throat or something. My poor angel. It's fine. Liliana's gown. We can play the land up now. In case we find ourselves uh, Atraxa. Speaking of which, Atraxa, if you could show up, that'd be great. Okay, alright, I guess we just hold. I'm not gonna waste my... I wanted to play out his hand so that... Uh, or play out more creature for Sunfall. Because I want a Sunfall to finish the underdog for sure. Okay, Storming Revenant. It's pretty cool. He's gonna draw two cards. It's pretty dope. Correction, he's only drawing one card. I would take him, I would have taken the Swamp. The Volt Sleeper, okay, cool. Alright, so Sunfall suddenly became a lot better. We're just gonna take the three damage here. Matan. So let's go with you. Ah! I love some falling your opponent. And Zatan. Another evil sleeper, sure. So let him activate once, and in response to him activate the second time, we will kill it. Okay. One more time. Awesome. Afida Zian. Today. Okay, that's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, nope, I think we're done with the longer buys. So it's back to you, hit him for three, play out our stomper, hold the ley line. <laughs> Wait, I should have, I should have, <laughs> that was a mistake. Imagine if I found something I want on top of my library. <laughs> Do not play your surveil lines before you play stomper. It kind of ruins the whole point of surveilling. Uh, it doesn't really matter what we pick here. I always think like I need to have three green mana, which we do have for Titan of Industry, but we don't play Titan. This is the first time I don't play Tatan. Oh, what a great card. How about I take it? How about Yoink? And, okay, sure. I would go ahead and say that we should attack and flip it. We can't kill him anyway, so it's nice to have another creature on the board. Thank you. Man, no attracts to this game. It's gonna... Shit. Vault Sleeper, sure. Just gonna upgrade it, which is fine. The opponent's sitting nice at five lions. He never got his shell, though. I feel bad for him. I didn't get my tracks, though, so... We all have bad luck, don't we? Oh, here we go. Uh, let's use this for... Let's try, let's, let's try this out. For five. Maybe we get... So we can get a removal so he doesn't kill my creature. One more. It doesn't matter. We have one, right? Let's do this just for fun. What do we get? Draw five cards. Okay. So. Man, I'm sure he would love to have these cards. But either way, let's use this. Counters and destroy his one creature. To finally, you know, make sure the final nail in the coffin is, you know, cemented. My stomper can have it. He's been a good boy. An attack. Ah, well, easy game. Alright, opponent gets to go first. Sucks to see, but we can't always have good luck. I do think this hand is rather fine. We do have Virtue on turn 2. Hopefully find a land so we can cast our Invasion of Zendikar, and then Archangel of Wrath is completely activated. Link GGCBGK. Okay, some weird toxic thing. We got the land, though, so it's pretty good. We don't have white, though, so we can't cast Leyline. This is annoying, but let's get rid of that. Toxic player, huh? Toxic. Who plays Toxic in the standard event? Another one that's not good. Hey, we got another Virtue. You may think I'm lucky, but in, uh, also, he got two of his. So, I mean, the chance of us getting these cards are probably is, is, is the same. So, my luck matched his luck. And now we're going to Invasion next turn. Bonin kept a greedy hand. He didn't have the Surveil lands to make sure he would draw something. Angel and uh, Invasion. So we get the lands properly for... Uh, to, ki to kick Archangel of Wrath the following turn. And then we're one mana. Okay, cool. You can do that. You can do that, opponent. That's fine. Uh, let's just get some lanes. Archangel can be kicked. You have one more chance to deal with me. Panic Sentry, not taking anything. That's funny. Uh... Her migration or yeah, I think her migration, honestly. 
We don't have to. We don't have to Archangel Wrath that. I think having 15 power on the board is better. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. All right, it's our last chance. 6-2, uh, is that going to be our final score? Are we finally going to push into 7? Let's go. Okay, we get to go first. Good start. We do have the Survey Lance. I'm, I'm going to keep this, even though it's on the two land hand, against Kel. Or Shell, if you're Swedish. Shell, Shell Barkvist. I don't think I have any Swedish people watching me nowadays. It was a long time ago. We got a Swedish comments. So whenever you're ready, buddy. Okay, he's ready. So let's go ahead and start uh, surveilling. And no. Okay, I'm getting a little bit nervous here. Uh, okay, so we're playing as an aggro deck, I guess. Lunar Veteran. Oh, we got the land. Perfect. So we go ahead and we fetch. We use Herd Migration, gain three life, fetch a land. Hopefully he doesn't have Atalia. Spellbook Vendor. That's a card I never really bought into. Why would you play that? I'd rather play that White Adversary or Talia or other two drops. Sure, I'll take one damage. Uh, let's use you and I'll gain three. I think we should work on the White Man, if I'm honest. Doesn't really matter. So we play you out, we play Stomper. Next turn we're playing Invasion, we can have Stomper activated. So he should have uh, Girl Cathar here. You can get Blackland, they are the coolest by far. And you go. <laughs> right. You know what would be nice? Sunfall. Sunfall would be very, very fun if we're allowed. Kel. He has Tali though, which is kind of annoying. Now, do you think he'll jump with his Knight Errant of Eos against my Stomper? Uh, there's a high chance it might happen. Yeah, let's go for it. So we get uh, the Attraxa Man, obviously. Um, play you out, activate the Stomper, and then we attack. This Talia is not... If we don't draw, get untapped land, the Talia will stop me from playing Herb Migration. So, but Attraxa will come out. Then if he has... Um, then we hopefully we find a Sunfall with Attraxa. And then I'm, I'm sure he has a Brutal Cathar, which is fine. Wait, what is he doing? That's why you don't play two legendary lands in your deck. We essentially stone rain him for free. Okay, Talia's out. And I guess he's gonna play out his uh, buffer. Another night around, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, well we're at 22 life against this aggro deck. Is he finding a brutal Cathar? No, so maybe we get to keep our Traxa. Uh, so let's get you out. Hopefully we find a plane and a ley line. We don't. Sunfall is here though, thank god. Okay, that was the next card. Uh, attracts obviously. Urgent Necropolis. Uh, Jet Mirror Lush. Uh, let's go with the uh, new cards, why not? Play out. Let's look what we have here. Uh, we can keep that, I guess. Doesn't hurt. Untap land. Then we can cycle the. I mean, I, there's no way we can't. We, we will lose this game. There's no way. We have a sunfall in our hand. What is he gonna do? There's a real Cathar, which means we're gonna get a trigger of uh, attracts again. So it's gonna take. Give me. I'm gonna take four, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> okay, it, it doesn't matter. Even if he finds. It needs to find another brutal Cathar, but I have a second attracts, dude. It isn't. It's funny. This is funny to me. Say goodbye, Cal. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, Leyline, finally. Long lasting goodbye is great. Archangel. You can get this. Uh, Untap land, so we can hold Leyline plus uh, the long goodbye. What should we toss here, this question? I don't think Outrageous Robbery is that cool against this player, but maybe we get to play it. It'll be fun to finish him off this way. So Kel, Kelly Boy, Skrelf, sure. You have two more lands. Or maybe he has another. He maybe drew his fourth land or fifth land because he destroyed the third one. Sure. Okay. Well then, I think we just go with. 
activating you. And that's really it. We don't really have to do anything else. Uh, let's get rid of this. He can't block. He takes, you know, 13 damage. Lose half his life. Her migration. Yeah, I feel... I, I'm not gonna lie. I feel pretty safe right now. I don't think the opponent can do much against me. Actually, let's get this. Why not? Let's hold the Leyland Binding in case he finds a Brutal Cathar. Thank you. It's so sad because I've been in Kel's situation where I play a deck that I try new and I go to the like the last win before I get some wins and I match against Control or Domain and you're like, ah, can't do anything about this. All right, so he has to reload Cathar. Sadly, he has a Skrell, but we can take the Skrell. We kill Cathar, we just kill him. So yeah, Binding, take the Skrell. I mean, kudos to Kel here for not, you know, conceding, playing out the game. Okay. Archangel Wrath. And that's it. Seven wins, baby. That's really good. Hello, everyone. This is Future Average Gamer here. So I am going to include all the games uh, that I did not showcase my voiceover of because everyone wants to watch them and uh, they're gonna playing at four times the speed and then you will see me at the outro with some kick-ass uh, music so that being said uh, i'll see you in a little bit and enjoy the rest of the games
All right, we got ourselves our 7-2. The first seven winner, sadly, we didn't get it yesterday when the set was released, but it's fine. I'll still take my 500 jumps, three packs, and a player in point that I will never use. And yes, I can see without a doubt that domain below well, band, you know, domain, apps, and whatever you want to call it, is still probably the, one of the strongest decks. This is a safe deck to use in a standard event. I loved everything here. I actually want to play more copies of, you know, Sunfall Invasion, <laughs> Urgent Necropsy, like, the, it's just this deck is too much fun. Like, uh, Long Goodbye is amazing too. Like, it's just, you can play this deck and you can get, you can farm. I believe wholeheartedly you can farm this entire set playing this deck in a standard event. Um, yeah, but yeah, I would like have more of all these cards if I could, but that's how you know a deck is really nice when <laughs> there's too many good cards and yeah, I don't know what to say. I would also want another copy of Invasion Descender card, of course. Uh, <laughs> we would do 64 cards. But yeah, the, you can keep it like this. Or you can add however you want. It's up to you. I don't think it's going to cost you the game or cost you anything. It's just great. Uh, it would be nice to have a second Outrageous Robbery, but <laughs> come on. I don't have the wild card. I do have the wild card, but I'm not spending it. Uh, that being said, thanks so much for watching until the end. You rock. Like and subscribe. And...